Hi there, this is Sheena Rowlands and today I'm sharing with you my latest layout for Hey Little Magpie. For this layout I'm using Paige Evans Garden Shop Collection. I've decided to use Paper 3 as the basis of my layout so I'm just uh, removing the manufacturer's strip. I prefer the pink in the top left corner so I've just rotated it. Now I've got loads of buttons in my stash so I've gone through them and I've picked out colours that coordinate with this paper. In my mind I've decided I'm going to lay out a shape in buttons on this paper in the circles. Um, so I'm just having a go at it at the moment, just laying the buttons on top of the circles and to try and make a heart shape. I don't need it to be perfect uh, and I'm not totally sure it was going to work to start with but uh, I decided it didn't need to be exact. Uh, I don't know if you can see it carefully, I'm just trying to match the pink on the pink, the green on the green. I've got some peachy buttons there and some yellow too. Um, and I don't want to cover the whole of the spots on the paper, so I'm trying to find buttons that are slightly smaller than the circles I'm putting them on, if that makes sense. I've decided I'm going to sew each of them down, so I've gone through my embroidery flosses and I've found a load that coordinate really well with the paper. So I've just pushed them aside with my needles as well while I have a think of how I want to embellish this. I don't want to sew all these buttons down to then cover them all up. So I'm just going through the ephemera pack just to see what I would like to add over the top. I'm in two minds whether I want to do some sort of diagonal uh, embellishments. So above, below and then to one side of the photo or whether that's too much. So I'm just having a look in the pack what flowers go with this paper and my photograph and then I can carry on with sorting out the background. So the inspiration for the buttons was actually one of the other papers in the range. Um, there's one with circles with buttons on and I thought actually that would be perfect to use up some of my stash uh, and, and to make this layout too. So I bring in paper 12 and I decide that I might want to cut a couple of the sentiments out uh, to potentially use as either embellishments as the title. So I've done that as well. I'm just also still colour matching across the layout. So I'm now going to use the threads and I'm going to stitch the buttons down individually. That sounds like a lot of work but actually it wasn't really. I just um, pricked the holes through the buttons first so that uh, I could make sure I knew where they came from. In fact I think before that I even took a photograph just so if they did all slide off I would know exactly where they were before because there's nothing more infuriating than uh, that. So you can see I've lined the buttons up on three sides of the 12 by 12 in order, starting with the, the big one at the bottom so that I can actually know where they go. Because I don't stitch them all in the same colour, I try and match the thread to the buttons. So I think I use two or three different green flosses. There's definitely at least two pinks and yellows, etc. So I've, um, I'm doing them, I'm not necessarily stitching them down in the order that they've, they're lined up. So that's why I've, I've been a bit military around the edge and I've got my photo as a backup plan in case it all goes pear shaped. Now I'm not going to subject you to watching me sew every single button on but actually some of them I've done them in different directions so I've, if there was four holes in a button I've done a cross, some of the ones I've done two lines just trying to make them all slightly individual. I did try and get different sizes and different types of buttons. I don't know whether you've got lots in your stash but um, I was, I was a bit shocked by how many I actually do have, but uh, I really like the way that they look on this paper. So I'm just going to finish that off. There they are all sewn down and I'm going to trim it a little. I think I take a uh, half an inch off so that I can actually put it onto some white just to calm it down a little bit. I do round the corners of the uh, pattern paper before I stick it onto the white. I didn't actually gut the white. I've got plenty of white cardstock and I thought it would actually support the weight of the paper with the buttons attached. So I left it as it was. So I just stuck that down um, to the white cardstock. Obviously I've got the threads on the back so it's not perfectly flat but it's enough just to support it. So I'm starting to look at how I want to embellish this. I've uh, got this photograph that I really wanted to use. That's I chose this photo specifically when I decided I was going to use the buttons um, because it's actually a picture of my mum and her sister. And it reminds me of the era when all your clothes were handmade. 
So the cardigans they're wearing are were handmade by their mum, knitted by their mum. And even though they were sisters, not twins, everything was matching. Everything was homemade. But when I say homemade, I actually mean of the era. Everything was really professional. It was much um, cheaper to make clothes and to make jumpers and cardies and things. So I wanted to actually um, record this um, in this layout. I have actually scrapped this photo before because I don't have many photos from that era. And I just thought it would be nice to actually remember that these clothes were made specifically for them um, with love. So uh, I'm just going to put a couple of layers behind the photo. I've gone with two colours of papers that actually coordinate in that area of the layout where I'm going to cover the buttons. So I've gone for a pink and a yellowy orange. Now I actually want to make a pocket behind this uh, photograph and uh, I look at a couple of tags to put in. I do change that later on but it still remains a pocket. So I'm going to cut like an L shape of foam just to support the part of the photo that isn't on the buttons which will still give me enough room to hide my journaling behind it. So I'm adding the foam to the back of the photo with some wet glue and then I'll use some double sided tape to then um, attach it to the layout when I've got the position correct. Now you might wonder why I've put the buttons underneath the photograph because you can't see them but it's just like sod's law that if I didn't put the buttons there I'd move the photograph and realise there was a gap in the heart shape so it just felt easier just to do the whole heart to start with and then I could actually play around with it and not worry about having to come in afterwards and try and stitch a, a button down uh, underneath the, the edge of the photo because I don't think that very I don't think too far ahead um, and things do change when I'm making and creating so I'm now I think I'm happy with the way that photo looks and I'm going to start to bring in the embellishments I'm trying to look what to put round the sides and I'm starting to think actually less is more with this I think the buttons may not, may not be that obvious from above for the camera angle but when you actually see it in person they're quite prominent and I think they're quite a, a really nice visual feature so I, I'm thinking of doing a cluster um, top left and bottom right to the photograph so obviously then I'm thinking what colours do I want to bring in and I decide that the white like daisy type flowers actually pop better than the ones that coordinate with the colours of the background paper if I'm making sense and also that brings in the white from the edge as well and the fact that it's a black and white photograph so I really like the way that that's coming along so I'm using the you and me or me and you is, as it is from the paper 12 that I cut out earlier still as the title for this layout so I really recommend you check out this range in the Hey Little Magpie store it's got some really beautiful colours in it, obviously, and some great ephemera. Very typical of what Paige makes, um, and it's got her st stamp on it. Um, I it's come out in autumn, obviously, in the UK. To me, it's got more of a spring feel, but as I say, really versatile. And this is the second layout I've made from this range recently. So do check out the video for the other layout where I used her stamp set. So I'm now just tweaking, adding some greenery around the photographs just to, uh, sorry, around the flowers uh, above and below the photograph just to um, highlight that there. Just putting some of it on foam pads and this is the journaling that I've put. So it's got their name on it on the tab and it pulls out. So this is the full image. Thank you so much for watching this video. These are the close-ups as well as you can see where the buttons show up really well. Thanks so much for watching. Do check in again. Give me a thumbs up. If you liked it, and I'll see you here soon. Bye for now.